Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Makwal Agri. This is your favorite agricultural YouTube channel. So in today's subject matter, we're looking into the key point to a successful poultry farm. Um, the first key that we'll be looking into is uh, a record keeping. When you're talking, uh, when you're talking about uh, record keeping, it's when you record all your mortality, when you record all your vaccination program, when you record all your your weight program so we know that uh, each and every seven days you must weigh your chicken and check how they're performing and um every day you must uh record if there's any mortality and when you you vaccinate you must record in which day did you vaccinate and for which vaccine did you use and also we're talking about um how many pack of feed did you feed so let's say you've opened uh, a pack on day one then um which is starter then uh, around day six or day seven the first bag uh, get finished you know it down let's say it's a uh, first bag out then uh now open the second bag maybe on the day seven you're right you're opening the second bag so on day 14 maybe that bag is out then uh you know it down that says uh two pack now out uh basically when i'm talking about two packs in in, in 14 days um, I'm, I'm referring to a circle that uh, you you be growing um 200 uh, broiler chickens basically. So another thing that um is the key to uh, a successful poultry farm, we are looking into uh sticking to a program or being observant. So when we're talking about um sticking to a program or being uh observant, uh basically we just maintaining the program or uh, routine. Uh, that you may have uh, one for me that I have uh, uh, a routine is when that uh, in the morning I wake up I go to the chicken coop to check if uh, the feed is still um, is still uh, the, the feeders they still have feed the drinkers uh, they still have uh, water and I uh, also walk around the chicken coop and check if there's uh, any mortalities uh, I can also check if there's any baits that's not doing well or that's that looks weak so i can easily pick up uh, the signs at an early stage when i do all those routines so i do them three times I do them uh, one i do it in the morning the second one i'm doing it in the middle of the day and the last one is going to be in the evening um then um when you do those things when you observe or uh, have a program like that you can easily prevent that uh, diseases spread you know, amongst your chicken coop so uh, you'll find that maybe you have a bait that has a flu but you can't notice because you don't go there often or you don't walk around your chicken uh, house chicken on your chickens um you'll you, you'll have a problem um when you don't notice uh and baits that is sick at an early age because if you're going to notice it late it means that it's already spread the diseases amongst the other chickens in the chicken coop so we'll be looking to another um key another key point to a successful poultry farm which is biosecurity so biosecurity is talking about uh, the measures that you take to prevent diseases coming to your chicken uh, coop uh one being the first one that you must do uh it's cleaning the house regularly and uh, letting your house rest and um when you have chickens in the house, you don't allow anyone to come in. Even after cleaning your chicken coop, you must not allow anyone um, coming in. And you must also make sure that uh, your chicken are getting um, fresh water and uh, fresh uh, air also. So the water must always be clean. And um, they must also make sure that the ventilation is happening in your chicken um, house and it's a it's properly happening the vent ventilation must be properly happening it's uh it's one of the uh, important thing uh ventilation um then now we'll be talking about uh, another key point to a successful uh, poultry farm being uh, vaccination and medication um i recently stopped uh, vaccinating anyway the reason being that i've observed that every time i've vaccinated my chicken uh, they tend to be paralyzed and um, I lose uh, so much. Uh, I remember on my last circle that I vaccinated, 
I heard about bitty chickens that were paralyzed. Then um, when I was doing my research, I found out that even other farmers are facing the same uh, problem of chicken being paralyzed. So I stopped the vaccinating. But what I did is make sure that uh, if you want to stop vaccinating your chickens, you must make sure that you clean your house properly. Your house must be cleaned properly. And um, the vaccination must, must, must uh, no, no, sorry, the, the ventilation must happen. And then the house must rest. Uh, you must at least rest the house for like 20 days before putting a new batch of chickens. And you must make sure that you disinfect your house properly. Um, uh, another key point uh, we'll be looking into uh, the waste uh, removal. We're talking about the manure that in your you know, chicken uh, house or the bed, uh, uh, the bed, sorry, the bed uh, of your chickens. So you must remove that uh, regularly. So what I do each and every two weeks, I replace my sawdust. So that's one of the the things that you must do. And uh, you must, uh, after removing those sawdust or uh, replacing those uh, manure there, you must keep them away from the house because you don't want the smell of them coming inside the house. Uh, and then um, the last one, actually, uh, it's all about uh, being open to, to learning and, and growing you know allow uh, other farmers to interact with you find out how other farmers are farming um recently a guy called me and he was asking me how am i doing how am i farming and we shared information and then i realized that oh there are certain things that i think i'm doing wrong and the other farmers doing right maybe um i should now start following what i have learned from from him so in farming we learn uh, each and every day you know uh, but I don't believe in anything where they say this somebody's an, uh, an expert in, in, in farming. Because uh, every day we come across different challenges, and every day we come across uh, different, um, what, uh, yeah, different challenges anyway. So when uh, we learn everything, uh, we learn, um, what is it called? We learn uh, every day. So every day it's a, it's a learning, you know. I uh, remember one of my friends used to say, if you don't learn, it means that you are going to learn. So guys, I uh, hope you know about your friends or something to do. So those are where the six key are going to a successful group of And uh, guys, uh, please subscribe to your like, comment. I really like it for the comments that you give because uh, they also help me to keep coming back and put more content because people will be asking uh, some questions there on the, on the comment and I can pick up the content there and say, let me do a video and share about it. So guys, uh, thank you very much.